हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन कंटीन्यूअस टाइम फॉर ए ट्रांसफॉर्म फॉर ए रेक्टेंगुलर पल्स शोन इन फिगर वी नीड टू ड्रॉ द स्पेक्ट्रम नाउ दिस इज द रेक्टेंगुलर पल्स व्हिच इज शोन हियर सो दिस रेक्टेंगुलर पल्स विल बी हैविंग द एम्पलीट्यूड एज 1 for t value ranging between minus a to a therefore we can write x of t which is a rectangular pulse which is given will be having the value as 1 for t value ranging between minus a to a and it will be 0 for other values of t therefore from the definition of continuous time for a transform we can write x of j omega is equal to integration of minus infinity to infinity x of t exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt let us call this as equation number 1 now let us substitute in place of x of t as 1 and this range of integration let us take from minus a to a since x of t is equal to 1 for t value ranging between minus a to a so we will change the limits of integration from minus a to a and in place of x of t we will put 1 therefore we can write x of j omega is equal to integration of minus a to a 1 exponential to the power of minus j omega t dt let us call this as equation number 2 now if we integrate this term we will get exponential to the power of minus j omega t divided by minus j omega between the limits minus a to a if we substitute the limits we will get exponential to the power of minus j omega a divided by minus j omega plus exponential to the power of j omega a divided by j omega from this term if we take uh, 1 by j omega is common so we will get exponential to the power of j omega a minus exponential to the power of minus j omega a since we know sin theta can be written as exponential to the power of j theta minus exponential to the power of minus j theta divided by 2j therefore we can write sin omega a is equal to exponential to the power of j omega a minus exponential to the power of minus j omega a divided by 2j so from this we can say 2j sin omega a we can write it as exponential to the power of j omega a minus exponential to the power of minus j omega a now in the above equation in place of this term we can write 2j sin omega a therefore we can say x of j omega is equal to 1 by j omega into 2j sin omega a so here if we cancel out these two j we will get 2 by omega sin omega a so what we'll do we'll multiply and divide lhs by a so we can write 2a by omega a sin omega a therefore we can say x of j omega we can write it as 2a into sin omega a divided by omega a so we have multiplied a with numerator and denominator because we need to write the term in the form of sinc function so sin x divided by x we know that term is a sinc function so we can write this expression as 2a into sinc omega a so this fourier transform is obtained for omega a not equal to 0 for omega a is equal to 0 let us consider equation 2 and let us put omega as 0 so if we put omega as 0 in equation 2 so we can write equation 
as x of 0 that will be equal to integration of minus a to a exponential to the power of 0 dt. So, if we integrate this term, we will get t with the limit minus a to a. So, if we apply limit, we will get 2a. So, at omega is equal to 0, we got the value as 2a. Now, for this, we need to draw the spectrum. Since we got the sink function, let us write the sink wave first. This is x of j omega. The amplitude of this signal will be equal to 2a. So, we can write the amplitude of the signal is 2a, which is the maximum value at omega is equal to 0. For omega value equal to 0, this is the maximum amplitude of the signal. Now, we need to know this 0 crossing value. So, to find the 0 crossing value, what we need to do? We need to take the property of sinc function which states that sin omega a by omega a will be equal to 0 for omega a value equal to plus or minus n pi. Therefore, we can say omega is equal to plus or minus n pi by a. So, for this n, we can put different values from 0 to infinity. So, if you put n is equal to 0 here, so we will get a 0, so which is represented here. For n is equal to 1, we will get pi by a, so we need to write pi by a here. For n is equal to 2, we will get 2 pi by a, so here 0 crossing value will be 2 pi by a and so on. So, here it will be pi by a, here it will be 2 pi by a, here it will be 3 pi by a, here it will be 4 pi by a. So, these are the 0 crossing values. Towards negative, it will be minus pi by a, here it will be minus 2 pi by a and so on. And also, we can plot uh, magnitude of uh, x of j omega. So, sometimes they will ask to plot the magnitude of uh, the Fourier transform. So, you take the same sinc function. Since it is magnitude of x of j omega, this negative half of the waveform, we need to write it towards positive half of the graph. So, what we will do? So, we will write it towards positive half of this graph itself. So, this is the magnitude of x of j omega. So, we can write the same zero crossing values. So, here it will be zero. This will be pi by a. Here it will be 2 pi by a and so on. Towards left hand side it will be minus pi by a minus 2 pi by a. So, this is about problem on rectangular pulse. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.